Good morning. I will now call the special meeting of the Kansas Board of Regents to order. We are delighted to convene a special meeting to announce the 10th president of Pittsburgh State University. Thank you, President Scott, for 13 years at the helm of this institution. Your tenure included some very challenging times, and in spite of it, you have proven to be an innovative and transformative leader and a tireless and passionate advocate for students and staff. It is apparent how much you care about the Pittsburgh State family and the Kansas community. The university and our state are better because of your leadership. On behalf of the Kansas Board of Regents, I wish you all the best in retirement. Thank you for your service. The selection of a new president is an important moment for an institution, the students it serves, and the state of Kansas. It is one of the most significant tasks for the Kansas Board of Regents. As the board thought about what we wanted to see in the next president of Pittsburgh State, we sought a president who would share the region's priorities of economic prosperities, helping Kansas families and businesses and navigating higher education's changing landscape. We were seeking a president who would appreciate Pittsburgh State's unique strengths and leverage them to advance the institution to the next level in the higher education arena. We are here today to announce we have found that president, and we are confident that he will build upon the great work being done at Pittsburgh State. First, I would like to thank the Presidential Search Committee, which was comprised of individuals representing alumni, the foundation, faculty, students, staff, and partners from the wider Southeast Kansas community. I especially want to thank Rick Webb for his leadership of the committee. Mr. Webb brought together a diverse group of voices and viewpoints and ensured a smooth transition in identifying finalists for the board's consideration. He was assisted by Vice Chair Regent Bill Fireburn, and thank you to my fellow colleague, Regent Shelley Kiblinger. In addition, there were many members of the search committee representing various stakeholders in the community and from the university. Will the members of the search committee please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your dedication and commitment to the Pittsburgh State University. We would not be here today without your help. I will now call for a motion. Madam Chair. Regent Kibbinger. Daniel Shipp is the Vice Chancellor for the Strategic Initiatives and Associate to the Chancellor at the University of Nebraska Medical Center and Executive Vice President and Provost of the University of Nebraska System. Dr. Shipp brings a blend of educational and administrative experience with a history of leading transformational change. He has worked on initiatives to grow enrollment and drive student success for undergraduate, graduate, and professional students. He has led numerous initiatives to remove access barriers for underserved students and introduce new services to help students succeed personally, academically, and professionally. Dr. Shipp also possesses extensive experience building partnerships to benefit students and drive economic growth. In addition, he has led many successful capital improvement projects throughout his career. Prior to starting in his current role, Dr. Shipp served as Vice Chancellor for Student Success at the University of Nebraska Omaha and the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Before that, he was Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Enrollment Management, and Dean of Services at University of Nebraska-Omaha. 
Dr. Ship earned his bachelor's degree from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, his master's from University of Nebraska-Omaha, and his doctorate from the University of the Pacific. I move that the board appoint Daniel Ship as the 10th president of Pittsburgh State University. My motion includes authorizing the board chair and president to negotiate the compensation package and authorizing the chair to sign the letter of appointment. Is there a second? Madam Chair. Regent Lane. It is my honor to second the motion. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion carries. Guerrilla Nation, let's welcome Dr. Daniel Ship as the 10th president of Pittsburgh State University and his family to the stage. Don't you all know that the second round of the Masters is, is currently getting underway, <laughs> right? No, seriously, thank you all for coming out. I have a few brief remarks I'd like to make and, and some thanking that I, I feel is really important this morning. So, you know, first and foremost, we're, we're going to get to the best part of the team in just a second for introductions. But really, good morning and, and thank you for, for opening up your door to us and welcoming us to Guerrilla Nation. We couldn't be more excited to be with you all today here in this beautiful facility. Wow. Uh, I'll get to the, the, the we in just a second, but I promised Dr. Flanders that I wouldn't have a 30, uh, po uh, 30 PowerPoint slide presentation, so I'm not going to do that. Um, we're going to keep it pretty simple. First, I'd like to, to share my gratitude and thanks with President Flanders Chair Harrison Lee, and the other distinguished members of the Board of Regents that are here with us today. You have all been so very kind to us in these early stages of this transition. Your care and consideration will always be remembered. Thank you. Next, thank you to President Scott and the many members of your team that have helped to make today possible. I said backstage, I was like, could you have smaller shoes to fill? Um, that would make it a little easier, but I think your run here has been amazing and tremendous and you should all be so proud. Your leadership and many contributions to making PSU what it is today is obvious and will certainly endure. I look forward to building a friendship with you and learning about Guerrilla Nation through your experience and your heart. I'd also like to recognize and thank Mr. Webb and the members of the Presidential Search Committee for your confidence in me and willingness to take this leadership transition step together. It is the privilege of a lifetime to serve both the university, the city of Pittsburgh, surrounding communities and beyond. Also, I would like to acknowledge and thank the Kansas legislators, city and county officials and other leaders who are here today. I don't know you yet. I can't wait to meet you and know you and work with you. Additionally, I would like to thank the faculty, staff, and students, alums, and members of the community for coming out. Uh, my son Sam asked us uh, as we were arriving if we would see any gorillas today. <laughs> there, there's our gorillas right here, Sam. So speaking of young Samuel, uh, please wave to the fine folks so they know who you are. That's pretty good. Sam had a choir uh, uh, performance last night, so he's used to, he's used to the audience. Um, Sam is an aspiring football and basketball player, an excellent student, right? Okay, who already wants to begin training with uh, all the teams here. Coaches, <laughs> not sure if there's a place for a four foot, 50 pound, seven year old, but he's very enthusiastic. <laughs> Next up, please meet Finnegan Ship. Finn, please wave to everyone. 
Finn is our intrepid family explorer and has already asked about fishing in the lake near the president's house. President Scott, we might need your help knowing where the best spots are to fish um, and all there is to know around, around the community. And lastly, Oliver, please wave to everyone. <laughs> Ollie's life revolves around competitive soccer, science, and math. We actually will be leaving this evening to watch Ollie's team compete in a major soccer tournament in Des Moines. Um, his mom was a college soccer player, so the standard's pretty high at our house, so no pressure, Oliver. Um, and finally, it is my privilege to introduce you all to my lovely wife, Vanessa. Vanessa? <laughs> Quite honestly, Vanessa is my aspirational self as she keeps us all learning, organized, and goal-centered. Like many families we know, she had been the principal and the teacher over the past 16 months uh, during the pandemic with our boys. I'm pretty sure that automatically quals qualifies her for sainthood, um, at least in our house it does. Well, I feel blessed to have found my partner in all things, and now we both feel equally blessed to have found you all and are excited to make Pittsburgh our home and serve this great community. In closing, there are, are a few uh, essential humans to thank in my life, too many to get into at this point, but many have helped support my growth and development through the years. None more important than my father, Eugene, and my mother, Shirley, who taught me some hard and important lessons that are truer today, I believe, than ever before. One lesson in particular was a routine reflection at our dinner table there was a small quilted quote that was hanging on the wall near the table that was John Wesley's famous saying that I'm sure many of you can recall. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. The question from my parents was always the same at the dinner table. What good have you done for others today, Dan? As a young person, I tried really hard to always have a good answer, but frequently found myself falling short of the question. That said, the question has lived with me for 50 years, and if my parents were here with us today, I would answer them now by simply saying, I have gladly agreed to serve a community of scholars, educators, artists, performers, researchers, thinkers, and doers. Our family plans to do a lot of good for a lot of good people. Thank you again for welcoming us to your home. Uh, it's, it's exciting for us to get the chance to meet with all of you. Um, we're honored and excited to be part of the Guerrilla Nation and here with you in Pittsburgh, Kansas today. So thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Ship. We are excited to work with you we believe you will do great things for this university and for our state. I would like to invite everyone to a reception in the lobby, followed by the brief press conference. Dr. Ship will be joining momentarily. Meeting adjourned.